Waiting in anticipation. Hello everybody and uh, welcome to Guide to Email. I am Theo Samuels. Um, just before we get to start, right, um, this lesson um, is about email. We're just talking more or less about the simplicity, simplicity of email. Alright, so um, your objections this evening, uh, to be familiar what email is, to be able to recognise what the internet, um, the different internet service providers, what they are, and uh, we're going to be talking about email etiquette, what you should say and what you shouldn't say on, on, on when you are composing an email. So, what is email? Well, email is a method of exchanging di digital messages from one person to the other. And today, most email uh, operates through the internet or the networks, i.e. tablets, mobile phones, so on and so forth. So, what ISPs, internet service providers, do you know of? Which ones do you know are aware of? BT. BT? So, BT have... Yeah. Uh -huh. 
Um, they're just trying to make sure that it's rough simple as it is um, for now. Um, but, but in the future, that may come into play, really, because like they, the co uh, companies are nowadays are looking for ways to try and get close to their customers as well, so, uh, as close as possible and easier as possible. So that sort of thing might happen um, along the way in the future. But as for right now, moving on to the next bit, we're going to watch a simple video. It's a two-minute video. Uh, basically, we're going to be discussing email etiquette. So, leading on to the next uh, next activity, 
using what you have seen on the video plus what you have written down, uh, basically come up with a leaflet to promote good etiquette. So you're gonna spend a couple minutes um, trying to come up with a better way of saying everything that you that you um, that you've seen on the, the report there and present the findings to your class. So Tripta, what have we got to do? Well, we have to make sure that we don't uh, clutter too much information in the email system with this. Yes. Is, like photos. And yes, but with the but uh, but yes, we we can, that's something that you can actually say in in your um, in your advertisement or your leaflet. So that's what we have to kind of uh, promote this idea. So we have to talk about how we um, can use good email etiquette when composing an email. Okay. So is everybody with me? Great. Okay. Yeah.
the disc for you. So you're going to use the do's and you're going to use the don'ts? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We haven't got a long on there. Oh, I don't know. But like, we've got do's and don'ts. So you could be like, just quick kind of a few key areas that you want to talk about with do's and just go across a few key areas on the don'ts. That way everybody would actually know so even when somebody comes into, like, I don't know, a place like this, and you see them hang up on the wall somewhere, at least they're going to know. That's what it's talking about. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to have the dogs. Don't use capital letters. You've got about eight minutes there. You've got about eight minutes. Just a couple of minutes more for guys. Don't send too many, uh, too much uh, data when it's sensitive. Too many data in terms of uh, pictures or basically it would it would it would, it would, it would um, slow down the passage of the email. So when you hit send, you could be waiting there for however long. Yeah. If you want to bring in um, an SD card, I can put it on an SD card for you. Sorry? SD card or a memory stick, but it's got to have a big enough capacitor. A gig at least. Ready?
send an email to the correct addressee and um, don't send large data which slows the process of sending the email. And the don'ts are don't use capital letters, it'll make the person angry. Don't use emotions, don't use small um, devices for big intricate emails because you won't be able to check it that it's been processed at home. Okay, brilliant. They're brilliant. I really like this, uh, this, uh, this one. I like this one because it's they just explain that it just really it just displays the true facts of of email etiquette. So as soon as you just see it, it's like bam, you instantly know what the rules are or what rules are with email etiquette. So I like that. That's a very good idea. Well done, ladies. Right then. So four minutes. Four minutes. Just under four minutes, yes. <laughs> Right, so what we just actually discussed today is, um, we talked about email, okay? We talked about um, <coughs> what we, like the different iOS, uh, internet service providers. We talked about what it's actually used for, where, like how important it is today, because almost everybody in the world uses an email. Thousands and thousands and thousands of emails are sent more or less every day. Um, we also talked about email etiquette. It's very important that you discuss when you're um, online. Um, you have to actually uh, protect yourself in the most truest form possible. When you're creating an email, if it's somebody that you do know, like Kelvin says, it's it's important that yes, you can actually be jovial and everything. But when you don't, when you don't know the person, please use. Um, everything that you do know when you're writing a letter in terms of sir, uh, using dear sir or madame, using um, ending, ending, it, ending it as well, um, yours sincerely, that sort of thing, you know. Um, also, not to be able to get angry when you say, when you send in an email as well, like try not to use proper case letters. It's very important because everybody thinks that you're, you're screaming and that sort of thing and you don't really want to get the wrong end of the stick once a person actually reads it. Also as well, try not to uh, not to present reply at all. Sam had an interesting story earlier that she actually sent um, an email to everybody um, that she knew and uh, that kind of got her into a bit of hot water. So it's, really, it's more or less being careful about what, you, what you've been saying. It's more or less when you've been on Facebook or being on Twitter, it's more or less the same thing. It's about being careful with what you send because once you press that button, yes, with 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 um, with uh, Facebook and Twitter, you can um, pre press delete on, on posting or tweeting and everything. But once you hit that button, that send button on the email, you can never really get it back. Once it's there, it's there and it's read. It's been read. So. With that in mind, that is the end of my uh, session. I hope you enjoyed it. This has been Guide to Email. I'm Theo Samuels. Have a good evening. <laughs>